All right. Welcome, everybody, to the Somerville Songwriter Sessions. And uh, I'm very excited this evening to be able to present to uh, everybody out there in virtual land, Paul Kaplan and Tom Smith and myself. If we were live, uh, like in the good old days, we would all be on stage together at the Somerville Armory uh, Cafe, which is a great venue in Somerville, Massachusetts. But we are happy to get to get, get together online as it is. And the thing that brings us together tonight is we all have brand new CDs that we're excited about that we're going to be sharing songs from. So uh, we're each going to do a short set and then go uh, do a round robin in the second half of the show. And our opening performer is Mr. Tom Smith. And he is an award winning performer and songwriter applying his old school folk tradition to timeless stories of people's wants, needs, struggles, and triumphs. In the words of WUMB's Dave Palmatier, Tom Smith writes songs that seem like they've always been there, a true folk singer. This evening, Tom celebrates the release of his CD, Apples and Cheese, New and Used Songs for Kids and Their Grownups. So you'll be hearing some songs from that. And, uh, on a personal note, I want to mention that Tom and I are both members of the People's Music Network, and we together produced a show uh, for the 2018 Winter Gathering that I must say, on Tom's behalf and my own behalf, which I think was the best show PMN ever presented. And we're going to aim to equal that tonight, so please welcome <laughs> Tom Smith. Thank you. Thank you very much, Terry. Well, I'll start with the... Uh title track of that brand new album. When I was a boy, I wasn't very bright. I didn't know much, but I knew what I liked. When the teacher sang the ABCs, all I could sing was apples and cheese. Yes, apples and cheese, apples and cheese. Some sing praise for carrots and peas. Nothing in the world can make a man say please. Like a great big plate of apples and cheese Time came to learn about the birds and bees My father shared this expertise He said, son, there ain't no guarantees Except for the joys of apples and cheese Apples and cheese, apples and cheese Some sing praise for carrots and peas Nothing in the world can make a man say please like a great big plate of apples and cheese. Cortland, Granny Smith, Macintosh, Bakun, Cheddar, Gouda, Brie, Swiss Provolone. You'll never find me on a hunger strike. I never met an apple or a cheese I didn't like. Apples and cheese, apples and cheese. Some sing praise for carrots and peas, but nothing in the world can make a man say please. Like a great big plate of apples and cheese Well, when I get to heaven, I'll tell you what I'll do I'll be singing in the choir with the angels Who raise their hands from bended knees And praise the Lord for apples and cheese Apples and cheese, apples and cheese Some sing praise for carrots and peas But nothing in the world can make a man say please like a great big plate of apples and cheese It's apples and cheese, apples and cheese Some sing praise for carrots and peas But nothing in the world can make a man say please Like a great big plate of apples and cheese Like a great big plate of apples and cheese So I'm hoping to prove to you that uh, songs uh, that are for kids don't exclusively have to be for kids, just like songs that are written for grown-ups don't have to be exclusively for grown-ups. Uh, I'll do a song now that, uh, uh, you know, uh, one of my great inspirations was Pete Seeger, and uh, this is one of the songs that I, I wrote for the new album. Uh, and Pete used to say that uh, what's going to save the human race is participation. Participation. So 
Pete is all over this song. I'll sing a little song about community. It's really just a very simple thing. A community is a group of individuals who have a common song to sing. It takes all kinds of voices. Some can reach the high notes. Other voices sing the notes down low. We keep the rhythm with our feet, walking forward to the beat. Participation is the key that makes it go. Yeah. A family's a kind of a community. No two families are really quite the same. Some are large and some are small. They'll pick you up if you should fall. And I've been told that mine are kind of strange. We tell jokes and laugh a lot. Sometimes we argue around the clock, but we figured out how to get along. Love is what it's all about. In the end, there is no doubt that everybody in our family belongs. And a neighborhood's a kind of a community with many families, some you may not know. If they're unknown to you, I'll tell you what to do. If you see them on the street, say hello. And if they say hello to you, it may sound different. This may be how they say it in their homes. Konnichiwa, jambo, merhaba, ni hao, hola, bonjour, shalom. And the world is a kind of a community. Maybe that is why we call it Mother Earth. It's just a bigger song to sing with every living thing. And we sing on through life and death and birth. We don't inherit this planet from our parents. We borrow it from our kids. So let's make sure that we take care. Where it's broken, we'll repair so they receive a better planet than we did. Yeah. This is a little song about community. It's really just a very simple thing. A community is a group of individuals who have a common song to sing. It takes all kinds of voices. Some can reach the high notes. Other voices sing the notes down low. We keep the rhythm with our feet, walking forward to the beat. Participation is the key that makes it go. Yeah, participation, that's the key that makes it go. It was so much fun making this album. And, uh, uh, and, and I wrote songs for all of my grandkids. They ranged in age from uh, newborn, they're eight months now, from newborn up to age 13. And it was, uh, it got right to the end and I didn't have anything for the 13 year old. And uh, I thought that I might not have anything until uh, just before deadline. Uh, I remembered a, uh, Incident when uh, Anna, the 13-year-old, she got a little upset about what she was watching on the news. And I was so impressed with the way her mom and her dad handled that. I watched the news on TV. My parents were not home. The things that I saw scared me, it was hard to be alone. I have so many questions, doubts, but I know it's not good. When they got home, we talked about it. My parents understood. Now I'm marching with my family, protest in the street. We made the signs we carry. Mine says, I'm speaking with my feet. It feels good to do something, though I know it won't erase all that's bad. But it's a step to make my world a better place. My parents say that we grow up in stages and be grateful for the blessing that each age is.
I'll go play with Luna She's the new dog we just got I'll ride my bike Do some reading Call my friends We always laugh a lot For dinner we'll have pizza And talk of what we did At 13 sometimes I feel grown up But mostly I'm a kid uh, on the uh, on the album I didn't sing that uh, I uh, was I got lucky and uh, Cleo Mook sang it for me uh, for the record Cleo is Alistair Mook's daughter and she's 13 and uh, I think she has a similar worldview as my granddaughter Anna it came out beautifully thank you Cleo so uh, this will be the last song in my little set I'm the guy that touches all the buttons on this broadcast here uh, so uh, if I'm a little distracted after, in between songs that's why this is a song for my nine-year-old uh, grandson, Andrew. Andrew is an absolute incredible soccer player, super, super athlete. But he's also uh, got a tender side. And uh, I wanted to write a song that uh, honored both sides of them. Thank you for listening. This might be my favorite song on the whole album. My superpower is soccer. My shot'll shock a blocker. It blows right by the stopper. My aim is true. A soccer ball torpedo. I am the MVP. Oh, my name is Zapatito. Little shoe. Chorus. Go, 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 go. I forgot to tell you that. Uh, he has a soccer nickname. They call him Zapatito, and that's Spanish for little shoe. Yes, I am Zapatito. I'm quick as a mosquito, a supercharged neutrino, a billion watts. My dribble is a riddle on the outside or the middle. Ain't no goalie that'll quibble with my shots. Yeah, here we go. Ready? Go. with Gramps and Grammy, trade soccer ball for Lammy, snug as bugs. There's a book that they read to me, and a piece that runs right through me. It's looking good for me to score some hugs. Here we go, ready? Go, 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 go. One more time. Go. Thanks for listening. Thank you so much, Tom Smith. So Tom Smith is our songs from his brand new CD, which is called Apples and Cheese. And you made me hungry with that song, Tom. So uh, uh, thank you very much. And next we get to welcome Paul Kaplan. And Paul Kaplan is a singer-songwriter from Amherst, Massachusetts. He's a winner of 11 ASCAP Songwriting Awards and has been an enthusiastic participant in folk music since the late 1960s. And uh, some of his songs have also been covered by other artists, including uh, maybe most famously, I Had an Old Coat, Henry the Accountant, and Call Me the Whale. Pete Seeger said that I am a big fan of Paul Kaplan. I love his singing, I love his songs. So that's pretty good press from Pete Seeger. And Paul is going to be sharing songs from his brand new CD, which is called 
we shall stay here. And I'll again, once again, mention on a personal note that Paul and I cross paths often again in the People's Music Network. And we met for the first time. I can even name the, the town in a, January of 1992 in Albany, New York, and have uh, enjoyed running into each other at folk venues, the occasional bike path in Maine, and uh, <laughs> other places along the way. So please uh, give a warm virtual welcome to Paul Kaplan. Thank you. Thank you so much, Terry. And thank you, uh, Terry and Tom, for uh, letting me be a part of this, uh, this trio um, with, with, um, with you guys. So um, I hope you can hear the guitar okay. We're, the sound check had a couple of uh, uh, hiccups, uh, but uh, I think that, that it should work. So uh, here's a song that you might find um, a certain affinity with uh, the situation described in this song. Little boxes on computers, little boxes full of floating heads, little boxes, little boxes, little pictures with no frame. We've been trying to stay healthy with a total lack of leadership. There's one blockhead to zoom in on if you're wondering who to blame. And we try to pay attention, but we're busy counting nasal hairs on the boxes, little boxes, little pictures with no frame. This is how we meet each other, and the world sees our messy living rooms, or the part that we just cleaned up, cause we have a sense of shame. And somebody's dog is barking And her husband is in her underwear And don't ask what she is wearing Down below that missing frame Someone else who left their sound on Now is using the facilities But thank God there is no video Just a gray box with their name And we're Zooming every morning, and we're Zooming every afternoon. We're so busy getting dizzy, watching pictures with no name. When this horror show is over, and again we're three-dimensional, we'll no longer be in boxes, but we'll never be the same. So, uh, hi everybody out there in box land, and thanks for so much for uh, tuning in. Um, I'll do uh, two or three more songs. Uh, this next one is, uh, um, it's, this is also a parody. I've got the words in case uh, they, my mind fails me. And uh, this one is a parody of uh, a song called The Frozen Lager. But this one is The Frozen, well, you'll find out. <laughs> uh, As I sat down one morning in an internet cafe, a tattoo covered, wait, sorry, tattoo covered waitress to me these words to say. Well, I see that you are a blogger. Then she added with a smirk. That means you'll sit and play all day Then say you've been at work My boyfriend was a blogger All he ever did was type We'd have a meeting once a week If I could get on Skype He'd buy a mini latte To nurse from nine to five And once an hour he'd stir it With an old one gig thumb drive He was a cut above all of the other blogger bumps 
His fingers flew through Facebook while he tweeted with his thumbs. One day he got a brand new Mac, the finest of its kind. But with his expanded memory, he completely lost his mind. He wouldn't eat, he wouldn't sleep. He wouldn't take a drink. He only paid attention to the ones who clicked his link. He blogged and blogged without a stop. This went on for a week. I told him he should take a break, but he couldn't hear me speak. For one whole month he sat there, a tapping right along, his body growing weaker, his opinions growing strong. One day I placed before him some root beer in a cup. He put his hand around it. But he could not pick it up. Just then he saw that he'd been flamed. That means insulted on the internet. And he had a spasm attack. The root beer flew into the air and landed on his Mac. The Macintosh exploded. With a mighty crash so loud that his system froze from head to toes, and he flew up to the cloud. So I lost my blogger boyfriend, floating somewhere in the fog, and here I'll wait for someone. Who will promise not to block? Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, Pete Teeger came up earlier. I'm going to do a song that I wrote um, about Pete and his voice, which, as he aged, it became uh, weaker and weaker until he depended more and more on the audience. And I'm going into Pete Seeger tuning, <laughs> drop D, but playing in G, which he did often. I dreamed I heard Pete Seeger sing when he was 93. Says I, but Pete, you lost your voice. It never died, said he. It never died, said he. You used it up at concert halls and all those picket lines. Says Pete, I lost my vocal cords. My voice is doing fine. My voice is doing fine. Though some would say my voice has died, it's never been as strong. As when it comes back amplified by those who sing along, by those who sing along. For I am like the shanty man who stands before the gale and helps us pull together so we all can raise the sail. We all can raise the sail. And just before my dream was on, he left me with these words. When what you sing comes from the heart, you always will be heard. You always will be heard. And then after Pete passed, I wrote these last two verses. Now Pete is gone, but if you listen well, you'll surely hear. His song, his hammer, and his bell still are ringing loud and clear. Still are ringing loud and clear. 
Wisconsin down to Texas, California to Wall Street. When folks sing out for justice, then you'll hear the voice of Pete. You'll hear the voice of Pete. I dreamed I heard Pete Seeger sing when he was 93. Says I, but Pete, you lost your voice. It never died, said he. It never died, said he. So that, of course, was based on uh, Joe Hill. But I do also write melodies, and <laughs> I'll do one more here, which uh, is the title song of my album, We Shall Stay Here, which was on my first LP from 1982, and um, it was never digitized, so I put it on this album because I really like it. I more than like it. I love it. So I hope you like it, too. I will tune up for this one. All right, so it goes like this. We shall stay here. This was an empty space Until our love appeared Now that we found our place Found our place We shall can sing in tune, even the stars may hear sounds from a tiny room, tiny room, we shall stay Under the love we make, love we make, we shall stay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Paul Kaplan. All right. That was wonderful. Um, and uh, I have the honor to introduce Terry, but before I do, let me uh, just let you know, uh, Terry will be the third uh, and final of our little mini sets. And uh, then after Terry finishes up, we're going to go round robin for, an, for another, well, until our time is up. 
we plan to finish by uh, 8.30. And uh, uh, let me just say personally that I've, I'm, you know, Terry is the guy who really makes things happen. He's the guy who brought us all together, and he, you know, he's if if there's going to be something happening at the People's Music Network, he's often sort of in the background there, or sometimes right on the front lines. And I also have been very grateful to Terry because I attend a few songwriting sessions with Terry, usually once a month, and uh, he always gives me valuable feedback on songs that are in progress. Uh, uh, let me just read though uh, a more formal introduction. Uh, is called one of New England's best songwriters by the Boston Globe. Terry Kitchen creates songs that are portraits of ordinary people and emotions, captured with extraordinary passion, honesty, and humor. He's been performing on folk stages across the country since the 1990s. And his new album, Lost Songs, collects songs from all phases of his career. His songs have won the Mid-Atlantic and the USA Song Contests and been runner-up in the John Lennon Song Contest. And in the 1980s, he was the leader of the groundbreaking Boston band Loose Ties, whose experiences he recounts in his novel Next Big Thing, which is called the great debut novel by the San Francisco Book Review. So please, everyone, welcome Terry Kitchen. Oh, thank you so much. I'm a gopher at an office Each day I fetch the mail I Walk four blocks to the P.O. box Down in Davis Square On the corner by the traffic light There's a building that I pass And I always see a woman Just behind the glass She's a redhead, kind of pretty Maybe 30, give or take Snow white skin a bit too thin Lines of worry on her face She wraps the cord around her wrist Talking on the phone I want to tell her it's all right She's not so all alone But she never looks She never looks She never looks out the window So I wonder, what's her story as she stares down at the floor? Did the rug get pulled? Did she get fooled a thousand times before? Well, that makes her the same as me, and wouldn't it be nice to get together, fall in love, and win for once in life? But she never looks, she never Outside her door, she'll lift her head up to hear that thunder roar. And see me standing there with the rainbow behind, and we'll hold our gaze to the end of time. So I walk back to the office, last chance to try my luck. And as I pass, I touch the glass and whisper. Hey, look up. But I get no satisfaction for the longing in my heart Like it's a way of saying no before we even start Cause she never looks, she never looks She never looks out the window She never looks, she never looks
Thank you. I'd like to uh, thank Taylor Caffery down in uh, Baton Rouge, uh, Louisiana, for playing that on his show on WRKF, and uh, Mark Peterson for playing that out in Wisconsin on WOJV and some other DJs as well. So uh, it's great to have a new album that's out on, on the radio. We just got through uh, Valentine's Day week, which is a, you know certainly a, a special occasion. Uh, and I'm, I'm happy to uh, be able to say that I'm, I'm very lucky in, in love. I have a wonderful wife, Cindy, but it does present certain challenges. Her birthday is also the same week as Valentine's Day. And it's, you know, on a folk singer's budget, you know, I can't exactly shower her with uh, new Cadillac Eldorados and diamond rings every year, maybe every other year, you know. Um, but I think I did good. Uh, there's a new Joni Mitchell set of very early recordings. And uh, we were I uh, got it for Cindy for her birthday. And we were listening to it today. And Joni just had a, a voice just uh, clear, clear as a bell. And so Cindy's happy, and now I feel really insecure about my singing after listening to Joni Mitchell all day. But I, uh, I do write songs. So this is a love song for my beautiful wife. This is called Here's to Us. Well, I'd like to take you Someplace nice that's not too loud, not too crowded. With the view of the city lights, and we'll both get all dressed up. I'll comb what's left of my hair. The waiter will pour. Something that sparkles I'll lift mine to the air And say here's to us And the quiet adventure We've taken together through the years Most of them good ones But some of them tough It's amazing how far we've come So raise your glass, dear Cause here's to us You'll help me if the menu's in French So I don't order snacks by mistake We'll talk about Paris and talk about Venice and trips we've yet to take We'll ponder if fate brought us together or if we met purely by chance And if there's music a slow one and then ask you to dance saying here's to us and the quiet adventure we've taken together through the years most of them good ones but some of them rough looking back it's amazing how far we've come So raise your glass, dear Here's to us And just like our story The evening's not over yet So here's to us It's quite an adventure we've taken together through the years But most of them good ones 
ones, but some of them are tough. Looking back, it's amazing how far we've come. So is your glass, dear, because he is to us. So raise your glass, my love, he is to us. Well, thank you. And um, I'm also really happy that a number of uh, DJs across the country got a chance to play that song for their Valentine's Day sets. So a special thanks to uh, Nick Noble out on WICN and Lily Kuzma in WDCB in, uh, in Illinois. So it's, it's always an honor to get to hear yourself on the radio. It's, it's a lot of fun. And uh, this next song is maybe a little, a little rougher territory. Um, uh, Tom Prasada Rao, who is a very, uh, very articulate songwriter, ver wrote a very moving song called Twenty Dollar Bill that was inspired uh, by the, the tragedy that happened to George Floyd uh, last spring. And Tom has a great recorded version of it. Alice Paul just recorded it. A number of people are singing it. And uh, I couldn't really do the song justice as a performer, but I started thinking about other other ways you know other stories that kind of shine a light on on that situation and and this is what i came up with this is uh this is called nickel bag i was cool in high school good friend to have kids would all come over to buy their nickel bag, nickel bag, nickel bag, nickel bag. I had all the albums, good stereo. down across the table to talk about my record nickel bag nickel bag nickel bag the cop ran down the list of all the laws I had broken but he said you straighten up son and 
will leave the file open. Nickelback, Nickelback, Nickelback. I mowed the lawn at church each Saturday that summer. That fall I left for college and my uneventful future. Nickelback, Nickelback, Nickelback. Now I watch the news and wonder if my skin was black or brown. Would that cop have let me walk? Or would he have sent me down? Nickelback, Nickelback, Nickelback. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for listening. I also want to thank uh, Carmelita. She has a, uh, was a DJ on WAAF. She now has a podcast called Rock, and she uh, played that song last week on her show and told some stories about uh, people's experiences on the rock scene uh, back when uh, marijuana was a little tougher to come by than, uh, than maybe today. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, it is sort of interesting to think, think about you know, the, the experience that we have with the law and, and what something like that we can't control, like the color of your skin, what maybe that how gonna, is going gonna, is gonna to portend how, how things come out. So uh, thanks for listening. So we are jumping into the round robin portion of the show. We started the evening with Tom Smith. So, Tom, if you have something for us, we'd love to hear it. <clears throat> sure. Uh, I'm going to break out of the album uh, and, and do something that's not, not in, the, uh, in the album. I wrote this for folks who f tend to fall between the cracks. And uh, oh, by the way, when we do this round robin, we're going to uh, uh, all be on the screen. And uh, might be a good idea for the people who are not singing to mute themselves too. Is, is that a hint, Tom? <laughs> I understand that uh, uh, Angela Merkel had to be told to mute herself uh, in a in a in a meeting this past week. <laughs> My wife and me, an old twin bed, the baby's crib, in common thread. Three older boys sleep knee to knee, a single room, a family. Times are hard, it's day to day, eight bucks an hour just does not pay. Both this room and pork and beans, paydays are few, paydays are lean, and they call us working poor, but I know what I My wife, four kids, and me, a single room, family. But for that church on Bowdoin Street, we could not bathe, we would not eat. Just mac and cheese My children cry They 
eat the cheese I eat my pride And they call us working poor But I know what I work for My wife single row a family every night before I sleep I pray to the Lord that my soul I'll keep until my sons can see the day my honest work brings honest pay and they won't call us working poor my boys will know that I work for my wife four kids and me a home So now you guys have to unmute. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Beautiful, beautiful song, Tom. And have you had a chance to record that song? Uh, that's on my uh, first, uh, well, not my first album. My first album was in 1979. This is on my <laughs> 2000, 2011 album called Journey Home. Beautiful song. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Paul, take us away. Uh, thank you. I'm going to stay in the same key with the same capo, um, just for continuity's sake. And uh, I'm, on this song, I channel my um, my inner uh, youth. My I, I take take myself back. And on, on the album uh, "We Shall Stay Here," I was very fortunate to have some backup uh, mandolin on those first two songs I did, and and fiddle on this one from Jay Unger, and also his partner Molly Mason and. Uh, so you just have to imagine an amazing fiddle part <laughs> on this one. If I had half an acre, I would build a little house. The floors of terracotta and windows facing south I would plant a garden full of food and flowers too If I had half an acre I would build a life with you If I had half an acre I would never ask for more than just to see you greet me when I walked in the door. I don't need a mansion with a million dollar view. If I had half an acre, I would build a life with you. I would cook you breakfast And put the honey in your tea Maybe we could raise some children To keep us company Wow. 
What's the use of riches when you're living all alone? A pocket full of diamonds is just a pile of stones. Every day's a treasure when you have a love that's true. If I had half an acre, I would build a life with you. Every day is a treasure when you have a love that's true. If I had half an acre, I would build a life with you. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, Paul. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bravo. Thank well you. done. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, I wanted to mention that there, I, I have been seeing some comments coming in on Facebook and on YouTube, and that's wonderful. But, you know, we're pretty busy here, and we can't, we can't uh, answer all of you, but we'll be reading them afterwards. Thank you very much for your kind comments. <laughs> Yeah, and also thanks, special thanks to Tom Smith for being our technical host this evening. So he's he's sort of our our fire wire to the internet. So uh, Thank thanks, you, thanks, thanks to Tom. Um, <laughs> it's not easy. Yep, and uh, Paul, that was a beautiful song, sort of about the 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 beginning of the process of of starting a home, you know, and and, and a family with someone. And I think that we're all you know, at the age where we've maybe had to deal with the other end of it as our parents have gotten older and then, and then, and then left us. And so this is a, this is a song about, about that process for me. Take a house full of memories, put them all up on eBay. The ones that don't sell Drop them off at Goodwill Take the pictures from the mantle The vases and the candles Strip out the carpets and Put it on the market Dusty boxes of photos Full of faces you should know Old folks as little children their lifetimes before them wonder where the time went what happens when it all spent to stand here with your eyes closed you can almost hear them call say a prayer and shed a tear it's gonna take you To accept the way of the world, the way of the world. Discharge papers from the USS Constellation. Mom's high school yearbook with the classes that they both took. All the suitors that you turned down to escort her in her ball gown. Told them she was waiting for her boy in the Navy. Say a prayer to shed a it's gonna take you years to accept the way of the world. So dry your eye and raise a glass. Then this too shall pass. 
Once you accept the way of the world, the way of the world. Take a house full of memories, put them all up on eBay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I say, Joni Mitchell, eat your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful songs tonight. I'm Love really them. enjoying this. I, this is wonderful. I feel like we're almost in the same room. Uh, uh, lo lovely, lovely uh, music. Uh, so, except the way of the world. Uh, I, I, I was thinking ab about that when I was realizing how dismal the <laughs> way of the world is or can be, and uh, trying to write a, a song to cheer me up. Um, and uh, that's when an amazing event happened uh, while I was in the middle of the woods, and it inspired this song. A fly struck my bee string and no one was listening I heard her singing a song of this place but on this blessed morning arrived on a fly's wing the herald awaking A small sound in the forest, a voice lost in chorus. Those gone before us, obscured by the noise. But today I will listen and uncloud my vision, release the musician and give them my voice. I spread my wings when the sun comes up The whole world spins in my coffee cup I've got a magic wand from the Milky Way Wake up, it's a grand new day It's a grand new day It's a grand new day Wake up, it's a grand an easy course if you want to catch up. It'll make you feel better, I promise. Dandelions like powder pups. It's the perfect time to fall in love. Bluebird song and a feather spray. Wake up, it's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. Wake up, it's a grand new day. I feel better already. I displaced my grief with a will to care. I shed that thief we call despair. Here comes the dawn, I'm unafraid. Wake up, it's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. Wake up, it's a grand new day when I will turn myself around. I'll make things better than I found. Please lend a hand, there's a lot to do. There's a tree to plant and an attitude. There's a heart to mend and a world to save. Wake up, it's a grand new day. It's a grand new day, it's a grand new day, wake up it's a grand new day, it's a grand new day, it's a grand new day, 
wake up, it's a grand new day. It's a grand new day. <laughs> I feel better already. <laughs> I do, too. I feel good. Yeah, fun. You know, it's too bad that the technology isn't quite there for us to be able to really like join in in real time with you. And I want to point out to the folks at home, there is a little bit of a delay. So as I was kind of like bopping along, it looks like I had no sense of time because I was always lagging behind the beat. But really, it was just that it was just the delay. Thank you, Tom. All right, Paul, keep it going. Right. Um, here's a song about a, 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 a grand day, too. Um, back in 2006, I read a story in the New York Times uh, about uh, an event that had happened 60 years uh, previous to that, uh, when Jackie Robinson was uh, in his first day in the minor leagues, playing for the uh, Montreal Royals, uh, and it happened to be in Jersey City. And the event that occurred that day, which I'll describe in the song, which actually takes less time to happen than the song takes to un uh, unfold. but. Um, I sang this song, uh, I sent it to the guy who wrote the article, Dave Anderson, and he um, sent it on to the guy the song is about, who wrote to me, and we started a, a relationship. Um, and he uh, recently wrote to me and, and said that uh, they're, they're putting up a statue to commemorate this event. Maybe you can see it. That's uh, George Shuba shaking Jackie's hand, uh, and nobody really knew if that was going to happen, <laughs> and George uh, did the right thing. Uh, if somebody hits a home run, you shake their hand. Uh, this is, by the way, they sent me this. It's autographed by George Shuba. Um, you can't read it, but he says he likes the song. <laughs> so they're, gonna, they're, they're, they're talking actually about flying me out there because they're making a statue of this event. And for the unveiling in July, they're going to uh, uh, try to get me to sing that song. So uh, this is a song to sing along with, if you, if you like. It's got a, a, a catchy chorus, which I'm not going to teach you because I know you're you're smart. On the 18th of April, 1946, it was opening day for the Royals. And young Jackie Robinson stood, stood at the plate in his first game on minor league soil. With two men on base, he stared at the mound. The fastball came in, his bat flew around. While circling the bases, three runs with one blow, Jackie hoped now his team would respect him. But a voice in his head kept on telling him no, as a Negro, they'd never accept him. Approaching the plate, he broke out in a grin, for there stood a teammate to usher him in. Welcome home, welcome home, welcome home, welcome home. Mr. Jackie Robinson, welcome, welcome home, welcome home. Welcome home, welcome home, welcome home, Mr. Jackie Robinson, welcome, welcome home. It was George Shuba waiting, his right hand outstretched. Jackie put out his own and George took it. A moment of grace for the whole human race as George gripped Jackie's hand and then shook it. A natural reaction, a man to a man, someone hits a homer, you hold out your hand. Welcome home, welcome home, welcome home. Mr. Jackie Robinson, welcome, welcome home, welcome home. Robinson, welcome, welcome home. In George Shuba's living room, only one photo is hung from his days as a player. It's not the World Series home run he is proudest of now that he's older and grayer. It's minor league Shuba in front of the crowd and his body language is shouting out loud welcome home welcome home mr jackie 
Bob and Sam. Welcome, welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Mr. Jackie Robinson. Welcome, welcome home. Great, Paul. Thank Great, you. Know, you know. You finished the song. You have a, you have a, this amazing shock of, of of fear. Was I muted that whole time? <laughs> <laughs> But you look great. Told me. <laughs> As a mime, you were perfect. No, great, great story, and um, and you know, great actualization of, of of putting it into a song. So I do hope that you know things get get better enough that you're able to uh, get out there and and you know sing the song in front of the statue. I think that would be a great moment. That'd be really fun. So. The odd thing is that Chuck Brodsky, who you might know, oh, wrote, of course, yeah, wrote a song called "The Handshake" on exactly the same story. It takes the same amount of time, tells the same story, and sometimes. Very, very similar words. So mm -hmm. maybe I'll get to see him there too. <laughs> Fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, great. Um, so it's it's gonna you know kind of a challenge for me to be in a in a, a round of positive energy songs because I now I feel like that rules out about ninety nine percent of my repertoire. <laughs> but luckily, you know, things. I think you know certainly COVID is still a challenge, but we are seems like we're past the crest. And more people are getting vaccinated, and also politically, you know, it feels like there's there's more hope out there. So this is a song that I that I wrote uh, the week of the inauguration, and this is called "Eyes of Tomorrow." Eyes of tomorrow. Don't cry today Changes are coming Help's on the way Winter's been brutal on everyone But I feel the rays of a brand new sun Oh, eyes of tomorrow Don't lose heart Sometimes the bottom's just where you start You'll grow strong and you'll grow free You'll outgrow the chains that drag on me Oh, eyes of tomorrow cling to hope like vines on a rainbow strong as rope to lift us out of hatred's bliss to color means beauty not prejudice oh eyes of tomorrow light it and eyes of tomorrow La, da, da. Eyes of tomorrow, no tears today. Changes are coming, helps on the way. We've done our best, now it's your turn to open our eyes to all you'll learn. of tomorrow mm -hmm. eyes of tomorrow mm -hmm. well thank you and uh, we want to thank everybody out there listening tonight uh, we're, on, we're on a number of different platforms so thanks to tom again for setting that up we're going to go around one more time so if you have a few more minutes of concentration left in you we're going to get one more song from each of us and and thanks again and tom smith take it away terry was, was that on, that was on your previous album right the that, that is I, um not know, recorded okay. yet that just that i just wrote that uh the week of this inauguration so oh just, just this just uh, last month i heard it at pmn i guess you did yeah, yeah. Yeah, beautiful song. Mm -hmm. beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Wonderful.
Wonderful. Okay, I'll do a, a short one here. So we'll squeak this in. Uh, see if we can end on time. <clears throat> I fancy myself a kind of a do-it-yourself person. But I have so many epic fails in my do-it-yourself adventures, especially those that involve water pipes. But that doesn't prevent me from writing a song about how great being a do-it-yourselfer is. When I think of all the things I have made myself, like that shortwave radio or that bookshelf if I compare them to the things I could have bought from stores mine aren't as good and I spent more <laughs> it's true that's why some would say that doing it yourself doesn't make much sense when you I call that investment And if I tally up the score Count what I give I get back more Here's the chorus now Easy goes Three, six, nine, twelve Do it yourself Count what you give You'll get back more I believe that Simple things can turn a sad into a happy man Like a loaf of bread when I knead the dough with my own two hands And as I watch it rise, I feel my spirit with its sore Count what I give, I get back more Ready? Here we go! Three, six, nine, twelve, do it yourself. Count what you give, you'll get back more. You know, it said that um, when you chop your own wood, it warms you twice. And when you bake a pie or sing a song in your own voice, you will reap rewards you cannot buy from any store. Yeah. Count what you give, you'll get back more. Here's your last chance now. Ready? Here we go. Three, six, nine, twelve. Do it yourself. Count what you give, you'll get back. Thank you, Tom Smith. Great Thanks, song and, and, and great sentiment. And anytime you want to come over and, and do the list of fixer-upper projects that we have <laughs> over here, you are, you are more than welcome. Uh, I'll, I'll be right over, Terry. Sounds, sounds good. <laughs> um, so uh, before Paul starts, I just want to mention that, you know, we're celebrating sort of tonight. We've all got, the, all got our new albums out there. And even though the, the physical, you know, flat piece of plastic CD might be going out of style, uh, you know, the music is also available digitally on different formats. So uh, we can each sort of mention, maybe mention that in our last go round. Tom, is, is yours available digitally as well? Yes, it is. If you just go to Tom Smith, uh, TomSmithMusic.com, you'll find a store link there and all the, all the places there. And uh, I'm sure that uh, you could also go to uh, TerryKitchen.com. To find out uh, where how to find his music and uh, paulkaplanmusic.com. Great, thank you. All right, Paul, what do you got? Um, I've got the it's the ultimate, the last song in this album. We shall stay here, and um, this one I arranged for four-part harmony. So you're really going to have to use your imaginations on this one. 
uh, I, I was lucky enough to get the Leverett uh, Community Chorus, uh, 70 voice strong chorus to sing on this one. And, and my, my daughter's uh, old violin teacher, Diana Peely, did a, a beautiful fiddle solo. But she's not here, so uh, you'll have to imagine that too. This song I wrote uh, uh, right after, uh, a year after 9-11, and it was a healing song about uh, moving on from there. Uh, hence the uh, seedling coming out of the lava. And, um, but it also turns out to be a, a literal uh, song about fire, and there's been plenty of that, uh, disastrous, uh, disastrous fires. So uh, it goes like this. <clears throat> After the fire, the tears fell like rain. Where tall trees had stood, there was nothing but pain. A forest of green was turned into ash. Disappeared in a flash After the fire We gathered around Searching for signs Of life on the ground The earth looked so That nobody could see Slowly a seed Under our feet Started to stir Woken up by the heat It sent down a root Help it hold tight It sent up a shoot To reach for the light Seedlings will grow Trees will stand tall Though you'll always can fall but nothing can kill the will to survive after the fire there is so much alive seedlings will stand tall Though we'll always know How far they can fall But nothing can kill The will to survive After the fire There is so much alive the fire there is so much alive oh bravo bravo thank, thank you, you Paul. very much and, and thanks again for, for song. terry and, and tom for all all your help in putting this together um yeah. really and, appreciate and it be before we get on to, to terry i'll just uh, mention that you know this this evening show really is free and you you don't have to pay to 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 watch it, but if you like this music, drop by our websites, and uh, and uh, uh, download or purchase a CD, and or if you if you prefer, uh, we have a tip jar a donation. Uh, I'm just using my tip jar 
but I'll be splitting it evenly with everybody. So if you want to go to PayPal, so you say. <laughs> if you go to paypal.me slash Tom Smith Music and put in your thousand dollar bills there, or Venmo if you prefer, it's at Tom Smith Music. And uh, after Terry is finished, I'll, I'll, I'll put this up on the screen again for a little bit just before we leave. All right. Well, thank you, Tom. And great to hear both uh, Tom and Paul tonight. And congratulations on your new CDs. I have the honor of doing doing the last song tonight. And uh, I think 2020 is going to just go down as one of the hardest years, you know, in uh, in recent memory. We're lucky that we have the technology that we do have and, and things like a vaccine is doable, you know, in a year. I mean, think about that. That's incredible compared to, say, the, the 1918 flu epidemic or, you know, certainly the plague before that. So but even so, we have to we have to make it that far and, and all, you know, help each other get through to that point. So uh, this is just about life being hard. It's called life is hard enough. <laughs> Thanks for listening. This woman left her lights on and her car wouldn't start I had jumper cables in my trunk But I was late and it was raining I was wearing my good suit I said sorry but I have to run I rolled back up my window I started to pull out And I heard my conscience whisper Turn this car around Life is hard enough Time is short enough Hearts are scarred enough From the hurting that we do Love is scarce enough Joy is rare enough We're all strong enough To help each other through Today you might need me, tomorrow I'll need you. So let's not turn away, life is hard enough. There's a family at church, a father and two girls. The mother lost her fight this year My wife's got the youngest in her Sunday school class Now every lesson's crystal clear We can't stop bad things from happening We can't even know why but We can give each other courage and comfort when we cry Life is hard enough, time is short enough, hearts are scarred enough. From the hurting that we do, love is scarce enough, joy is rare enough, we're all strong enough to help each other through. Today you might need me, tomorrow I'll need you. So let's not turn away, life is hard enough. And maybe it's the little things that make it all worthwhile. Those simple acts of kindness that make each other smile. Life is hard enough, time is short enough. Hearts are scarred enough From the hurting that we do Love is scarce enough Joy is rare enough We're all strong enough To help each other through Today you might need me Tomorrow I'll need you So let's not turn away Life is hard enough 
Say let's not turn away Life is hard enough Life is hard enough Life is hard enough Life is hard enough Yeah Bravo. I love that Bravo. song Thank you for singing that, Terry. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks again to uh, Tom Smith and Paul Kaplan, and my name is Terry Kitchen. And uh, the audience, look for... thank you for being there. Yeah, absolutely, I'm, audience. I'm going to put up uh, our websites just one more time while you're talking, Terry. Sounds good. And we also want to thank, you know, our, our physical host, which would be the Somerville Armory. So please support the Somerville Armory as well. And we look forward to getting back in there just as soon as we can. It's safe for everybody. It's a great little room for music. We are so fortunate to have the technology to do this live remotely, but it's always fun to get to do it in front of you people in, in person. So thanks again for a great evening. Uh, congratulations to Tom and Paul, and, and I guess me too, for I'm our coming. new CDs. And <laughs> yeah. uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed the music. So uh, yeah. over and out. Thank you so much. Let's do this again. Bye-bye, everybody. Yeah, that's good. Okay. <laughs>